Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, welcome to Radku Tarot, it's Rad. And uh, in this whole video, I'm going to perform for you Virgo, um, weekly general tarot reading on October 26th to November 1st, 2020. So if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description uh, down below and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website. And also uh, if you are interested into uh, tarot and you wanna start learning it, you wanna learn it from me as well, uh, you can find tarot, tarot courses or tarot classes, whichever you prefer, at the website as well that you can purchase under the tarot classes section. So with that being set aside, let's move to the uh, to the reading straight away. Uh, the reading is eight cards, or the spread is eight card spread, and it's divided into two layers. So the upper layer is going to be uh, related to your relationship, to your love, uh, and so on and so forth. The downer side, or the the downer layer of uh, the reading, is focused on your career manifestation or professional manifestation which relates to your career, work, job, so on and so forth. So just to make uh, my life a little bit easier, I'm going to go layer by layer. So I'm not going to turn the old cards um, at the start so I don't get confused myself. And the first layer that I'm going to focus on is going to be your love and relationship. So we do have the two of wands. We are starting with the two of wands, followed by the three of swords. Moving next, we do have the five of pentacles and the last one. It is the Ace of Cups, so the day savior is what we do have at the end. Yeah, the week is going to be rough, but the end of the week is going to be fantastic uh, for you. And uh, the roughness of the week itself, if we can say it that way, is going to be related to the question, what if? You know, always that... Um, presumption or belief into the doom and gloom if i get myself involved with that woman what if she dumps me in two months from now you know if i am to have child what if i i become jobless for example what if that guy cheats on me and so on and so forth and all those negative thoughts pouring in in your mind uh, are gonna pretty much, you know, make you reluctant and as well hesitant to stray forward, which is all what the week is all about. So with the two of wands at the start, we have a good foundation that you are sitting on, either a very good interaction that you are maintaining, either a uh, uh, an introduction that happened recently with a person that's pretty much, it's a very compatible with you and so on and so forth. But all those negative thoughts, which are nothing else but a, a remnants from past failures in relationships that doesn't have to be your failures, but still failures into a uh, failed relationships. And for that reason, you should not judge the future of your either current relationship or the future of your either a um, possible relationship that it is to happen based on a previous failure or in other words you should not try to compare your current suitor or uh, your current partner i'm sorry or your suitor with someone you have dated back in the days that's all that you gotta do and things are gonna move just fine from here so the question the other question is well what's in common then you know what what, what makes us being attracted to one another or what is gluing that relationship together and that is described here by the five of pentacles if you are, if we're talking just about an interaction or you have just introduced yourself in front of somebody or they have introduced yourself uh, they have introduced themselves in front of you you do have a common pass you know equally uh, damaging past relationships, a, a rough time, rough childhood, for example, if you do have such. So uh, you have so much in common into the toils and into the, uh, how can I say, poignant experiences that you do had in the past. And if you do talk about it, you know, you are to see that 
actually you are not that different in terms of experience that you had thus far and you can find a lot of a common ground to talk about a lot of things that you do kind of like share in emotions i don't know how to translate it into english it is like uh you know a lot of things in common uh and also uh, the Five of Pentacles, uh, for those that are already in relationship, it does speaks for the, how can I say, the value that you are sitting in there for. You know, you had certain problems together and you pass through those problems. And it will be such a shame if you do allow some negative thoughts that has no soil whatsoever, just by the nature of the tree of swords sitting here. They have no soil whatsoever, you know, to kind of like damage, if not break your current relationship. And then we are moving to the end of the week in terms of love here with the Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups is an awesome card. Obviously, people say that that's uh, a love that you are to experience and they are not wrong with that. But the Ace of Cups doesn't go just, um, doesn't restrict itself just into the intimate love while it's possible to be as well intimate love. That is the love for life itself. Or the way I like to uh, say about the Ace of Cups, it is that you are going to love the end of the week and what is happening there um, i could say that every you are to be reassured that everything every concern you had about a failure throughout the duration of the entire week every poignant thought or a negative thought that you had in your mind is going to be uh what is the word excommunicated revoked Okay, overruled by what is by by the true nat nature of the situation, and uh, that will transcend the future of your daily routine in this either interaction in this uh, chase as well. You know, dating stage or uh, relationship, marriage, etc., etc. So it's gonna make all of your worries completely irrelevant, and that will be a, a such a thriving. Uh, environment for love to to pretty much unfold itself so moving next we do have a, a wow we do have a, a, a professional manifestation first card it is the king of swords followed by the wow the uh, high priestess with the two of swords and the last one is going to be the four of pentacles now career it's equally good for you virgo and uh for what it seems is that the week is going to be spent on a topic that it is quite difficult on a topic that many things can go wrong on a topic that everything has to work as a well-oiled machine and guess what you are going to be the one who puts that machine together because you are not just only going to have the awareness but as well you are to be capable to transform ideas and analysis into very effective actions in a sense of actions that produce results okay and that's pretty much uh, is gonna make you stand in front uh in front of the others and these two cards here they are just supplementing one another that instead of frantically rushing and doing something for the sake of doing something you would prefer in a critical situations in term of a career to remain cool and to remain calm and do what is right in the moment uh, whenever you find it. So instead of doing something for the sake of doing it, you would prefer to do things only when they are going to have a positive result. Acknowledging that otherwise the risk of damaging, you know, your career, damaging the project uh, or um, reposing the client that you are fighting over are way too high. And it's better to be in this stage that it is right now than taking the risk of uh, damaging it even further. So in terms of career, your analytic mind, your logic uh, and your ability to 
solve problems is going to kick in to a, a, a tremendous extent. It's going to be just on a steroids. Another thing that this divulges here, uh, that reading divulges here, which it, it's quite amazing because usually that would have been a bad thing, but not in your case, it is that um, these abilities of yours to remain calm and to uh, pretty much call the tough shot, the, the, make the tough calls, if you will, is going to be acknowledged uh, by somebody else other than the business that you are working for. Okay. And uh, believe it or not, you may receive a contract, you know, you may receive some kind of a proposition as well. That is going to come further into the. Uh, further down the line, not throughout this week, but definitely throughout the week you are to seal your career um, in a sense of uh, uh, defining your domain. I'm good at that thing and that is to remain, okay? I, I am a, a valuable asset in this field and that is to remain. I'm a force to be reckoned with. So yeah, that, that is what kind of a message you are to send into the universe. And the worst thing you can do throughout the week is do nothing. Um, and under do nothing, I don't mean only just a, a an action-based doing, but also a, uh, a, how can I say, a mental, a mental processes, a process that you do think what will be, what will be best for your project and for your work as well. A lot is hanging. Uh, a lot is counting on you. What I mean is, a lot is hanging on your uh, on your shoulders right now. It may feel a little bit overwhelming at the start of the week because the responsibility is going to be great. It's going to be high. Uh, but if you once again remain your cool and remain your calmness, uh, you are going to reach to the best possible solution and you will be able to resolve the problem. And at the end, like I said, you are just going to quench your position. You are going to solidify your place and as well your standing. Those that are looking for, uh, for a work and for a job, uh, it's very possible that they are going to uh, find such that will require specific sets of skills that they do possess. Uh, but definitely with the high priestess into the second position, the time of uh, hoping that the job is going to find you are over and you have to pretty much uh, take this sheet of paper or, or, you know, just go out and try to find your job yourself. Because uh, as with the King of Swords at the start, you know, you will be able to exert a effective action. So every action to find a job should produce results. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly general tower reading, Virgo. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.